Yo, what's going on? So, um, you remember a little while ago I posted that video about the Wawa Burger and I talked about like, oh, I made this video and you probably won't get it uh, because like I'm referencing this video that I don't remember if I ever uploaded. Turns out I hadn't uploaded it. So that's what this is. Enjoy yourself. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ish the Powerpunk Gamer here. Uh, you're probably wondering, one, why I'm panting. Oop, wrong way. Man, that's slow. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm panting, sort of, and why I am not in my regular backdrop, and I'm actually walking around. Well, that's for two reasons. One, I got a stabilizer. Um, normally, I would have tried to get one for like my DSLR, but those can run like $400, so they're very expensive. So rather than do that, I got one for my phone, which still has pretty damn good recording quality. And uh, in like because of that, I was able to bring that $400 price tag down to about $150. Uh, I also got it from DJI, which is the same company that made my drone. Um, and the reason why I bought DJI stuff, even though, you know, Chinese companies shouldn't be whatever. I think they just got blacklisted, too, uh, by the U.S., but the reason why I do that is because, frankly, they make the best stabilizers around, uh, as far as I can tell. Like, the gimbal on my drone, one of the best I've seen, period. Uh, and this also has not let me down so far. So, um, I wanted to test out the new stabilizer, and the other reason I'm making this video is, as you saw, it was in the title... Uh, a YouTuber by the name of Mr. Beast has opened up a new restaurant chain. Uh, Mr. Beast is a guy that's gotten his fame on YouTube from uh, basically making clickbaity videos, but he doesn't actually bait because everything he says in his titles is what he actually does in the video. So he opened up a restaurant chain, and I was able to DoorDash a. Uh, I was able to DoorDash an order. Just came in, and we're gonna go ahead and test it out. See, see if uh, see if the hype around it's worth it. You know, see how good their burgers are. Now, going into this, I don't really have super, super high expectations. I don't, because <laughs> this is a this is a burger chain started by a YouTuber. So I'm not I'm not going into this expecting to have like the best burger ever made. But as long as it's a decent enough burger, I'll be okay. So let's get to it, let's test it out, let's see how it goes. Okay, it's gonna be a little hard to do this with one hand, but it's got the little tamper seal. go all righty so we got a can of coke we got burger itself and we got some fries so i gotta take those out nothing else in the bag apparently people have been reporting that they might be getting like hundred dollar bills and stuff in the bag i did not whatever don't really need it it's all good so let's get to it all right we got the can we got, this is kind of warm, honestly. Got the burger, we got the fries. So, honestly, we'll start with the fries. Not expecting these to be that good. They're probably very cold by now, but. Yep, cold fries, a little soggy. Honestly though, not terrible. Not the biggest fan of crinkle cut. I prefer like regular shoestring, you know, straight fries. Just because I like the texture of straight fries more. I don't like the crinkliness in your mouth. These are these are decent. Seasoning's pretty good. Wish they were warmer. It's what I got for door dashing, yeah, I guess. Just imagine if I recorded this entire thing. I mean, just eating this bag of fries for the next, like, seven minutes. That would actually be kind of funny. I'm going to just leave it in the video. At the very least, these are regular potatoes. They're not, um... They're not sweet potato fries, which honestly, 
I don't really like sweet potato fries. Like normally sweet and salty actually really works for me, but not with sweet potato fries. Okay. You know what? We'll get to the fries later. I want to see how this, this burger is. Good sticker on the wrap. That's good. That's, that's a good sign. Ooh, boy. That is... That's a lot of ketchup. All right. God damn. Okay, here we go. You know what? That's actually not that bad. I've had worse. I've had significantly worse. This is actually pretty decent. I wonder who made this. Like, maybe I need to look into it more. Because he's got these, he's opened up these locations all over the states. I'm honestly surprised there was one like 30 minutes away from me. I wonder if he's like hiring local business people who are like out of a job because of COVID or something. That's probably the, that's probably the ploy with this. Listen. I'm not complaining, this is a decent burger. Would I say this whole package is worth $11? Maybe not. I mean, $11 is a decent amount of money. Like, You could probably get something better for eleven dollars. I don't use a McDonald's quarter pounder meal. I have to Google that. Hey Google, how much is a McDonald's quarter pounder meal? Sure. Here's some Turns out it's about six sixty nine, roughly seven dollars. If you, I'm just gonna round it up to seven dollars because why not? I mean, for seven dollars, like that's that's significantly less than this is. Eleven dollars is quite a bit of money for a burger, some fries, and a can of coke. But like, maybe maybe it costs less if you actually go in person. I wonder if DoorDash hikes the prices or not. Well, we're just gonna pack that up. We'll say it's a little greasy for my taste. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of greasy burgers. I just think the burger should speak for itself. Very sauced up as well. You know, um, a lot of ketchup, a lot of, I think it was mayo on that. Uh, not, not the hugest fan of the whole experience. The onions were all right. I like the onions. There were like, there was like an abundance of them. I was cool with that. Had about three pickle slices on the whole thing. Could have used more. In my opinion. I like pickles. Pickles are good. These fries are really soggy now. I'm sure if they were warm, they'd be all right. Overall, it's not the worst. 
Certainly not the best. This is honestly about what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting some like super high quality burgers. You know, like I wasn't expecting McDonald's quality. Let me just break down my burger quality real quick for you. Cause I know there are people who are gonna get mad that I said McDonald's burgers are like the best burgers. Listen, when you think of, when you think of a burger, all right? There's a couple things that you want to think about. You want to think about the bun. You want to think about the meat. Cheese, if you're into it. Price. And speed. If it takes, like, an hour for your burger to get to you, fuck that burger, honestly. That burger sucks. If you take, if you, listen, if you're taking an hour to make a burger, like at a restaurant, right? If you're taking like an hour, hour and 30 minutes to make a burger, I mean, is it really worth getting a burger in that case? Like for an hour, hour and 30 minutes, I'd rather get something else from that restaurant that maybe takes the same amount of time, but also feels like it's worth it since it's not a burger. The thing about burgers is they're like everywhere. You can get a burger, like I said, double quarter, a double quarter pounder with cheese, not even a regular quarter pounder, a double quarter pounder with cheese meal, meaning double quarter pounder, fries, and some sort of drink. It's six seventy nine, or no, six sixty nine. Sorry, six sixty nine for a double quarter pounder wood cheese meal. I don't know how much like what Burger King's equivalent of the double quarter, the double quarter pounder is. I haven't been to Burger King in years, but anyway, if you're taking forever. My point being, if it's going to take them that long to make a burger, just get something else. Get something better. You know, burgers are, like, plentiful. If you want, like, a half-decent burger in terms of, like, taste, just hit up your local McDonald's. They're everywhere. But anyway, getting back to my criteria, right? Bun, meat, cheese, price, speed. In terms of all five of them, McDonald's, in my opinion, has the highest score. The bun is always greased lightly, you know? It's never, like, super, super oily, but it's got, like, this light, you know, like, spread of oil on top, which I'm a huge fan of, because, I mean... Yes, your fingers, your fingers get a little greasy from it, but, like, it makes everything go down easier. Because it's, like, lubed up from the oil. Meat. You would think McDonald's would get, like, immediately booted from this since, apparently, it's not actually meat. You'd be wrong. Because, in my opinion... For a burger to be a burger, it doesn't even have to have real meat in it. The texture is what's really important. And in my opinion, while McDonald's is not the best in terms of texture, they're up there in terms of texture. I like the texture of the meat. It's porous. It's tender. pretty good then the cheese in my opinion this is where McDonald's excels they have what I consider to be some of the best cheese because it gets all over the burger you know like it's, it's evenly spread 
God, that is one. Holy shit. Anyway, the cheese gets all over the burger. But it's still like solid. Like it's not like wet. Like a lot of melted cheese ends up being. It's not like wet. It's still solid. But it's very evenly spread. And it's got that stickiness that kind of binds the entire bite together. You take a bite out of a McDonald's burger, right? You're getting the bun, you're getting the meat, you're getting the pickle, you're getting the ketchup, whatever. Big Mac's overrated. Don't worry about the Big Mac, like the special Mac sauce. But um, you're taking a bite out of a McDonald's burger, right? And so you're getting all of this stuff together. Well, the ketchup's a little runny. Because it's ketchup. The meat's got the juices coming out of it. The oil on the bun, it's got the lubricant, like I said. But when you, like, if you've ever put bread in your mouth, just kind of chewed it for a while. When it mixes with your spit, it kind of, like, it also gets a little sticky and kind of, like, clumpy. I don't know how to, that's the best way I can put it. Try it next time you eat bread. Just eat, like, raw bread. Don't put anything on it. Just eat, like, a slice of bread. I just kind of chew it for a little bit. You'll understand what I mean. But then the cheese, right? Especially with the stuff inside. The meat, the ketchup, uh, sometimes the pickle. Stuff like that. The cheese kind of holds that all together. You know, it, 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 it works within itself to kind of create... It creates this, like... Uh, combination of them. It keeps it all together as it's going down. So when you bite it, you know, you're, the cheese is kind of keeping the ketchup flavor and the pickle flavor with the meat and the cheese flavor, obviously, because cheese has its own flavor. Um, and it's keeping it all together as it goes down. And in my opinion, that's where a burger shines the best is when all of the flavors are coming together as they're going down. And which is why I think McDonald's cheese is some of the best. Price. We already went over this. McDonald's, cheap as shit. It's, uh, like I said, double quarter pounder with cheese meal, meaning burger, fries, and some sort of beverage. They give you more than this, by the way. They will give you a bigger glass than this uh, for that six seven for that six sixty nine. Um, this is just a regular ass can of Coke. I can go to the store, buy a twelve pack of this. For just about the same amount of money as this whole thing costs. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of worth it. But anyway, my point being, six seventy nine or six sixty nine, you're getting like, I'd say more than double this, honestly, in a in a, in a McDonald's uh, quarter pounder double quarter pounder with cheese meal. You're getting a solid amount of fries, and they're like the shoestring fries, no crinkles, no nothing, salt. McDonald's fries, by the way, best fries I've ever had. Oh, as long as they're hot, you know, that's all right. That's the metric for all fries. As long as they're hot, they're good. Once they get cold, they get soggy and then every fry sucks. But McDonald's fries, when they're hot, they're nice and crispy. They're nice and golden. They have that like potatoey texture inside, which you can barely tell because of the crispy outside, but it's like just subtly there. And then they got the salt and that's it. You don't need anything else, bro. You don't need anything else. The seasoning, I'm not going to lie, the seasoning on those fries, that seasoning was pretty good. However, you don't need that. You just need salt. That's all you need, really. I'm going to die at 30 for after this, aren't I? Anyway. McDonald's fries, go to. That's my whole argument. For McDonald's fries. If you disagree, you've never had McDonald's fries. Other than that, you're just a psychopath. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, and speed. Admittedly, this is a place where McDonald's can kind of falter. 
have been in the drive-thru before where it's taken him a good long while. You know, like a solid, I want to say a solid seven to ten minutes from paying and getting what I paid for. And when you say fast food, you kind of expect it to be like pretty damn fast. So, you know, it's, they're not always the best when it comes to speed. However, at the same time, I don't think I've seen anybody beat them. At least from personal experience, in terms of speed. Of all the burgers and all the burger joints that I've had in my life, granted, that does not count. A lot of burger joints. Never been to a Five Guys. Uh, never been to In and Out because I don't live in California. But um, it's just slowly turning into Pepsi in terms of flavor because it's warm. You all ever heard of that? Like, apparently, warm Coke tastes like cold Pepsi. Uh, that's the... That's the taste that I'm getting right now. I hate Pepsi, by the way. Like, I want you to know that Pepsi sucks. If you like Pepsi, you suck, too. But still subscribe. So I've never seen anybody beat McDonald's at speed in terms of getting your food out to you. At least burger places. Taco Bell. Them bitches are fast. So yeah, McDonald's gets a pretty good speed rating. And with that, that's my argument right there. McDonald's wins. I could have had coffee over this. I have a Keurig that I bought a little while ago. Could have had coffee over this. I can slowly feel this poisoning me. Like, you know that feeling you get When you eat like a bunch of Oreos, and you can feel the sugar slowly killing you, like softly inside. That's the feeling I get from this right now. I, I can feel this physically deteriorating my cells. I can't believe I'm pushing myself to finish a can of Coke. Usually I actually like Coke. Is it basic? Yeah, but like if you're going if you're if you're if you're like holding a party, which remember when we used to do those? When but if you're like hosting a party and like you just need soda in the house because you got none. I mean Coke's like Coke's like your go to. Fuck Fana. Fana's disgusting. Ginger ale is also decent, but in my opinion, like the, how should we say, the, the, the baseline is always just Coke and Sprite. <laughs> <coughs> I got Corona now. Speaking of Coke and Sprite, y'all ever had a... Y'all ever had the, y'all had the new, uh, this new Sprite Cranberry? They actually changed it. The old Sprite Cranberry wasn't all that good. New Sprite Cranberry, it's different. It's actually pretty decent. Old Sprite Cranberry was like, okay. 
It had it was like Sprite with a hint of cranberry, which I'm not really a huge fan of cranberry. Oh god. I'm slowly coming to regret what I just did. Oh, okay. Finished it. Overall, decent burger. Don't know if it was worth all the hype. Uh, it was like it was okay. You could they could have gone a little easy on the sauces. There was just ketchup and mayo all over that thing. I think it was mayo. Uh, cheese was alright. Meat was alright. Love the onions. Burgers tend to do this thing where they cut their onions into rings. To like go with the circular shape of the burger. I'm not really a huge fan of that. Just give me like regular cut onions. Caramelize them a bit. That's the shit. Bun was a little too greasy. Overall package was just way too wet. Fries were alright. Very soggy. But I think I can just blame that on the DoorDash driver. I'm just kidding. Don't don't blame shit on your DoorDash driver, drivers. They're good people. They're just trying to make some money. I respect it. I don't know. Decent burger. Had better. Had worse. If you need a burger and you don't feel like going to McDonald's for the 75 millionth time, decent alternative. Fuck Burger King. The chili dogs are pretty good, though. Burger King makes some good chili dogs. Yeah, that's about it. That's the end of the video. Subscribe, like, comment, all that crap. My energy just died throughout this video. Alright, well, peace out.